Hello guys, Rob here. There is now another option for free EOS transactions. A few weeks back, EOS Authority announced free transactions now available on EOS Authority Wallet. Supports Scatter, Ledger, Token Pocket, Meet One, and more. So lots of wallets. Totally seamless user experience. Free transactions apply automatically on accounts with low CPU. That's a great feature. You don't have to do anything. If your account has low CPU and you go to send a transaction, the EOS Authority wallet recognizes that and automatically send, sets it up for them to pay for your resource cost. Let's take a look at how this is done. First, we head over to the EOSAuthority.com website and their wallet section. Here I am at EOSAuthority.com slash dashboard. This is their dashboard slash wallet section. You can see all the wallet actions here on the side that you can do. And the first thing you need to do is connect your wallet to the EOS Authority wallet dashboard. So if you do not have an account connected yet, come up here to the add account button. And here you will choose how you want to connect either with an account name, scatter, hardware wallet, some sort of mobile wallet, EOS links, token pocket, meet one, etc. I'm going to be using Scatter for this example, and I want to connect to the EOS network, so keep EOS selected. If you wanted a different network, you can select which one you want to use. For me, EOS, add accounts, and then Scatter pops up and you get to select which account you want to use. Let's use the send EOS to CML account, allow that, and give it a second to scan through the blockchains and add your account to the EOS Authority wallet. Now we are connected. You can see up here at the top, I have send EOS to CML, my EOS account name. That means we're attached and the dashboard here has been populated with all my token stats from this EOS account. And on the dashboard here, it's just a great breakdown with the total amount of tokens you have, a price chart, some account security features here, your airdrops, a Rex section here where you can write from the dashboard, lend to Rex, unlend from Rex, stake and unstake from savings, and then the recent activities of the account just like any Block Explorer gives. And in the wallet section here, it just gives you a more in-depth breakdown. Now you have the token balances by staked and unstaked as well as Rex, EOS resources here, and then this is a more typical Explorer page your airdrops, and then all your activity on the account. So in order to send tokens, there is the send button up here at the top. And let's go ahead and send some tokens just to show you how the free transactions work. So if I click send, who do I want to send them to? Send EOS to Rob. That's where we'll send them. I want to send EOS, uh, just a fraction of EOS click continue low account CPU attempting free transaction with gray mass fuel so this is using the new gray mass fuel and then the scatter transaction pops up and yes it is paying for the CPU you can see here at the very top gray mass no operation that is what is going to be paying for the CPU and then I have the transfer I just put through using the previous send page from my account 0 0.0001 EOS to send EOS to Rob, click allow, transaction success. And if we take a look at it, here is the transfer I just did, plus at the very top, gray mass no op. This is the paying of the CPU, not by my account, but by the EOS Authority wallet. The CPU used for this transaction was 330 microseconds. And if we go back to the wallet, you can see my resources for CPU, I only have 0.28 millisecond use, so 280 microseconds, whereas that last transaction was 330, so I did not pay for the CPU, the EOS Authority wallet did. This free CPU feature is good for all the actions over here on the side. You can Rex, do air grabs, manage your stake and RAM, manage your keys, you can vote create an account, bid name, stuff like that. All that is good and you get around five milliseconds per day of free CPU. So there is a limit, it's not unlimited. Five milliseconds a day 
that transaction I just sent was less than half a millisecond. Just depending on the type of transaction you were sending, you can get from just a couple transactions a day for free up to over 10 transactions a day, getting your CPU costs paid for through the EOS Authority wallet. So I'll leave a link below to the eosauthority.com dashboard page here. Shout out to EOS Authority for doing this. This really is the direction I think everything should be heading, having users never to worry about their own resources. Just whatever dApp you are using or interacting with should be covering those costs for you. And EOS Authority has joined Blocks.io in offering free daily CPU costs. So that's it for the EOS Authority free transactions. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. On another note, if you are an EOS Genesis Block account holder, tomorrow, December 18th, 2019, is the first day you can lose access to your Genesis Telos if you did not claim them yet, after Block 64 million. That's expected to happen tomorrow, December 18th. 2019 if you are watching this the day the video goes out in the description I'll leave a link to this page here you can learn how to claim your telos it's as simple as just performing any action on your Genesis telos account if you do not have a Genesis telos account there is nothing to worry about but if you do have a Genesis EOS account that means you have a Genesis telos account you need to get on there and claim your telos because tomorrow is the first day your tokens can be removed by the block producers doesn't mean it will happen tomorrow, but it is the first day they are allowed to do so, moving those tokens into the Exchange Reserve Fund to extend the Great Rex returns as well as 0% inflation on the Telos network chain. If you do not have a Telos account yet and do not have a Genesis EOS account to claim your Genesis Telos, also on this page is a link to free Telos accounts. It will show you how to get free Telos accounts on desktop, mobile, and through the Telegram bot. And once you get yourself some TLOS, why not stake them to Rex and take advantage of those 20% Rex returns we are seeing right now, thanks to the Telos Economic Development Plan. Here is a tutorial how to stake your TLOS into Rex using Squirrel and one using Scatter as well. Again, link to this page in the description below. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's it for me for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.